Okay. Um, should I uh, begin? Or do you put the first slide on? Do I just press this? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just a thank you to Heartland. And um, let's see. So what I want to talk about, I'm uh, particularly interested in methodology pertaining to global warming. And uh, I want to talk about dangerous anthropogenic global warming, which everyone probably understands uh, to some extent, and something which is a bit cryptic. What do I mean by false yet not even false? So I have to tell you something about the methodology. Um, the, yeah, this is a, Okay, so um, these are reports such as scientists agree that or scientific studies have shown or the science is settled, Al Gore and the Charlie Rose Show. But what is science? I think people have different ideas of science. I don't quite know what a, what a person means when they say they're dealing with science. Let's, um, I consider, say, the definition is a rational and systematic study of the natural world with the objective of formulating general laws or theories. So what I mean by um, rational and assist, uh, rational means based on reason, and that uh, requires the use of logic plus the evidence of your senses. And science is also could be thought of as a causal explanation of natural events. It's a search for why things are the way they are and act the way they do. Science seeks the truth at every stage of its development. So let's define some terms, true or verified versus false. True means when a sentence is used to report a state of affairs, then what you report should be, if it's observed, then you could say it's true or verified. For example, if I release a stone under normal conditions, it falls. False, by contrast, it's a proposition reporting a state of affairs that does not occur or, or did not occur or will not occur, okay? For example, if I release a stone under normal conditions, it changes into a rose bush, okay? Um, so uh, a principle of logic for rejecting a theory is called modus tollens. And uh, for example, if the structure is, if A is true, then C is true, as evidence shows C is false, therefore A is false. An example is in the model of Adam, the Lorenz or plum pudding model of the Adam early in the 20th century, the idea was you had a spread of uh, positive charge and in which was embedded negative particles like plums in the pudding. The, it was called the Lorentz model of the atom. So the Lorentz model of the atom is true. If it's true, then the alphas, that is particles going through the foil, um, should go through as the Lorentz model predicted. As evidence shows, the alphas did not go through the uh, foil as the model predicted. They didn't scatter the way the model said they should. Therefore, the Lorentz model of the atom is false. Now. That Lorenz model of the atom was replaced by the Rutherford model of the atom, those planetary, where the, um, the positive charge was at the center like the sun would be, and the electrons go around the charge as planets around the sun. And that was early in the 20th century, and the Lorenz model then uh, gave way to the Rutherford model, which then was used by Bohr and quantized in a certain way to result in finding things out such as what is the sun made of. Okay. So how dangerous anthropogenic global warming is false? Example, you've seen it probably a number of times at this conference. Uh, the bottom uh, line uh, show the observations and that black line that's going up from left to right indicates the average of the Spaghetti models. Now, if each of the spaghetti models is not correct, then uh, what can you say about the average? I guess you can say it's that you get a not correct average. I don't know what the significance of the average black line is. I've never understood that. Uh, but there you have it. And as the uh, time goes past, there's a greater and greater deviation between the observations and the average here, okay? so. 
it looks like from the observations there's been a halt to global warming. Uh, and what do you mean by a halt to global warming? It depends on what you mean by global warming. So if global warming means this dangerous anthropogenic global warming, there's no sign, valid scientific ground to believe that such uh, global warming uh, ever existed. Uh, that's, that's my statement, okay? If you, um, for this particular interpretation of global uh, warming. So the question, has there been a halt to global warming with uh, the above explanation of global warming is invalid. It's analogous to have you stopped beating your wife, okay? Uh, if you answer yes or no, that requ requires the prosecuting attorney. Um, but this is uh, not an admissible question. The question is invalid. If you say yes, then the prosecuting attorney would uh, say, so you have been beating your wife. And if you say no, he says, so you're continuing the nefarious practice. There's spreading false ideas to ch children. Um, uh, you have false ideas, you spread it to children through books like this. Um, there's a uh, picture uh, and this shows 650,000 years ago, this is present. You have the uh, red is supposed to be the carbon dioxide, the blue is the temperature, and the carbon dioxide appears to be driving the temperature. That's incorrect, they've got the re labels reversed. Uh, the red is the temperature and the blue is the carbon dioxide. This is a pullout from that book on page 18, in case anyone's interested. So the graph they present is not true, and it's not science. Al Gore's science fiction uh, scenario has been criticized by Marla Lewis in uh, many, many different points. And uh, it's worthwhile remembering um, the idea of what science requires. Um, if it disagrees with experience, uh, experiment, scientific evidence, uh, it's wrong. And the simple statement is the key to science. If it does not make, uh, it does not make any difference how beautiful your guess is, it does not make any difference how smart you are, whether you're a member of the National Academy of Science, the Royal Society, or the American Physical Society, who, or who made the guess, whether it's the U.S. President's science advisor, or what his name is, if it's the U.S. president, it dis if it disagrees with the experiment, it's wrong. And that's a quote by Feynman. Here's another thing that's uh, false, CO2 kills, okay? That's false. And one might wonder here, you know, when you breathe out, roughly you're breathing out 10,000 parts per million by volume of CO2, and uh, 400 uh, ppm is what you have in the atmosphere, uh, 10,000 uh, ppm is still uh, not dangerous, 20,000 is dangerous. Um, given that we breathe this stuff out, should we uh, stop face-to-face -face conversations? One might ask such questions. Carbon dioxide is essential to life. Uh, it's not a pollutant, and it makes possible food for all. No CO2, no food. <laughs> um, this is uh, uh, the restrictions that uh, they're trying to put on. They want to cut back on outputs, uh, and basically they're cutting back on outputs of electricity by trying to constrain CO2, and that can uh, affect the cost of electricity, increase deaths from temperature extremes, higher costs of food, and so on. Thank you. Um, and then, um, you could have brownouts or blackouts. You have to have rationing. You know, there's not going to be enough energy to go around. We have an increasing population in the United States. Um, so um, the uh, let's see uh, what I have to show you uh, very brief briefly. Um, I, I attended a uh, a magic show by Penn and Teller. I should tell you, and. Um, this is, this is a little magic trick, you see. Um, this I'm going to wipe out of existence by just squashing it hard enough. Okay, so, okay, so there it is. You can say, oh, that's nonsense. You've got it in the other hand. No, I don't. 
What I did is I diverted your attention. That's one of the ways that magic tricks uh, work. And uh, I diverted your attention from my uh, left hand to my right hand. Uh, the application here is what I would call a sucker punch. And the left hand represents dangerous uh, global warming, which is false. And the right hand is choking also your source of energy by these restrictions, which is true. So um, certain media politicians, NGOs, educated scientists uh, try deliberately or not to get your attention focused from energy restrictions to dangerous global warming. That's a clever technique, I think. And for example, um, you know, this, uh, this person is saying, oh, well, the, these global warming, this is not dangerous enough. You have to say a dangerous mass murdering, terrorist supporting, ugly, et cetera, that, that in order to try and scare people. So the message is getting uh, more and more shrill and more and more uh, absurd as the years go on. Scientific imagination is different from regular imagination. You simply can't throw something out there. Scientific imagination has to be consistent with everything else you know. Um, the Pinocchio Rex, uh, this is what's happening in politics. Law, you get certain lies and that creates life-threatening policies. And uh, in fact, this Pinocchio Rex uh, was recently discovered that uh, there's a dinosaur, you see, has a long nose. Pinocchio, in case people don't know, um, had his nose grow long because he kept telling lies. And the Rex part of it is the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, you know, creates destruction where he travels. The uh, last topic is dangerous anthropogenic global warming is not even false. And what I'll mention about that is there was a physicist by the name of Wolfgang Pauli who um, was an impatient with sloppy reasoning and wishful thinking. And uh, what he said when he was asked about a young colleague's uh, paper, he said, well, it's not even false. There's no, there's no basis to, find, to determine whether it's true or false. And an example here is this most, what I consider to be the most widespread error in believing climate change. And basically what you have, I won't go through all the details, but the kid says, well, if I see presence, uh, presence under the tree, it means that there's Santa Claus or uh, there's the Easter Bunny if there are objects underneath the crib. And uh, this is a fundamental uh, mistake and it's of the form, if, the, <clears throat> if you see Kilimanjaro melting or the glaciers melting, that means there's global warming. Here's the basic error. Whoops, wrong button. Um, it's a seeing is believing error. And the correct view is not, uh, <clears throat> is not that he did leave some presence whether it's Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny, but presents have been left. You don't know how the presents got there, okay? That is, uh, that is rampant through the media. I've seen it, I've been in this thing for 10 years. It's all over the place. No one seems to question it, or very few people seem to question it. And um, I just think that people ought to be sensitive uh, to it. And so with that, I've been uh, blinked at, and I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs>